All right, what's up, y'all? So this is going to be a story about basically a lot of things. So to start this story off, I flunked out of school. Personally, I <clears throat> am not like a lot of other people. I'm very, very unique. And so that also spawns a major hatred for humanity. Um, I, I also don't like being told what to do. I am very abrasive. I swear a lot. I don't like being told what to do. I don't like being watched by other people. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm, I'm in a band, so I like being watched when I'm on a stage because I can be who I want to be. But in a structured environment where I'm supposed to behave a certain way, I fucking hate it. And so, long story short, I got kicked out of school. And not kicked out of school, but like I flunked out and I actually withdrew right before so it wouldn't be counted and marked on, on my grades and shit. Um, but anyway, because that's just a smarter way to go. But uh, make a long story short right there. But anyways, yeah, flunked out. And as a result, I'm forced to move out of my dorm. And so I get a, a move out date, which is December 22nd. That date is going to play in very shortly. Um, so I'm fucking asked to move out of my dorm. I'm posting on my snap story, you know, anybody have a place I could stay, place for rent, you know, I had about $300 in my pocket. And so one of my friends whose name will not be disclosed because no names need to be mentioned and no one needs to be looked into. Um, cause I know people watch, I know people look and there's family on here too. So uh, yeah, I understand. Um, but yeah, basically, um, my friend's grandmother agreed to take me. Now, my friend, he did, does warn me ahead of time, but I've had people say they're crazy. Now, I, I'm a crazy person, okay? I have major mood swings, and I'm not one to fuck with. Now, I'm not like a killer or a psycho, but like, I also don't take bullshit, and I won't be fucking pushed around, especially by, you know, shit humanity. But, um, and I, and I don't mean that in any way towards my friends. I love you guys, you know, my close friends, my, my, my circle, so to speak. But for the most part, humanity can fuck itself. But, uh, yeah, no, these people were crazy, though. My friend was right. And when I say these people, he's included because I'm still kind of friends with him because he's, he's more chill than the rest of the family. But, like, his dad and his grandma are fucking insane. And I, and I hate his grandma. So she was literally, so I move into this place and she offers to take me in. Here, here it is December 22nd, okay? And I, I, she asked me to put a $100 deposit on. I'm like, okay, bet. So I'm like two-thirds way through the month, $100. Makes sense. So here we are. It's fucking beginning of January, like January 8th. The first, first thing that happened was, and at, after that, she, she told me beforehand before I get into this, that rent was going to be $200 a month after that $100 deposit. I was like, okay, sounds good. So fucking, oh, flip back over you bitch. Yes. So fucking, um, we get to January 8th and she comes up to me and says, your music is a little too loud. Can you keep it down very nicely? And I'm like, okay. Um, and, and before this, she had asked me to kill people. She was asking me to murder somebody for her or hire some, one of my friends to do it. I'm like, yo, I understand I'm crazy and you get certain vibes off of me, but I ain't killing somebody for you, you crazy old bitch. And um, I didn't say that, obviously, but I just kind of, I'm not even going to describe how I, how I, you know, coaxed her out of, cause I, I wouldn't snitch, but, you know, it's hard to convince some, it's, sometimes it's hard to convince people that you're not going to because, you know, everybody's just sketchy about everybody nowadays. Which is understandable. I get it because I hate the world too. But, um, no. Anyways, this lady's asked me to kill people for this. So, this this plays in. So, January 8th, she asked me to keep these down very nicely. I'm like, alright, this is pretty straightforward and honest. Pretty cool. She seems like a chill lady, you know. I guess if you just don't piss her off. And so, I remember, I literally throw, throw the bag on my back and start blasting my music because I'm, I'm about to walk. I was literally about to walk out the door. That's why I started playing the music, you know, and I guess I just play music too much and I am, I am a little bit loud. I get it. I know I have problems, you know, and I understand I'm aware of them. 
I am, they're very minuscule. I mean, I just leave like a lot of messes and I'm a little bit loud, but I'm not, I'm not like, like violent or anything, yo. I'm just a vibe. I, I'm just chill, you know, even though I, I can be a little bit loud, but whatever. Um, but more of the story is these people were way more nuts than I am, yo. So fuck them. Um, cause no one fucks with me, low key. But anyways, um, what was I going to say? Fucking, so January 10th comes around, and, and this is what I'm talking about, it's January 10th, though, when I'm talking about just about walking out the door, and, um, she comes in, and she goes, I'm not asking for rent, she goes, you need to get out of here now, and I'm like, what, she, she goes, no, you need to leave, and, and like, literally, all I had done was playing my music a little bit loud, and she had asked me to keep it down, and the funny part is, is when she asked me to keep it down the first time, I had kept it down literally all the way up until I had blasted it just that one time before I was walking, I was literally walking out the door, yo, to go meet a friend to smoke, what the fuck, and she asked me to leave, so she gives me a two week fucking notice, okay, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm a little cheap, uh, I had a had to cut that shit and re, re glue it because I actually fucking said some pretty incriminating stuff on there um, towards the end. So we're picking up on, I rewatched it and clipped it. So we're picking up on the two weeks part. I remember it. Um, so yeah, she's giving me a two week notice to get out. And so I'll actually disclose the location. It was in Hamburg, New York. Um, and there, there actually is a cabin and in, in the woods. And I'm not going to going to say where, and I never will. Cause it's just a cool hangout spot for all, all, all the gang, man. It's, a, it's a, just a cool chill spot for the homies. Um, well, yeah, I, I was bound to go live there. Um, I was going to be staying in a cabin with no heat, no fucking heat in, in New York winter. Just think about that. And this fucking bitch, dude, that old lady was, was out of her mind. Um, but Lo and behold, I was texting people and again, going on Snap and adding things. And so, lo and behold, I texted the person who's letting me stay at this current place. Um, and they were very welcoming, helped me move my stuff out, out of the old lady's house. Man, and I got out of there. And, okay, this is going to sound really gross. And you know what? It, it fucking is. But they goddamn deserved it. I shit on a plate. And threw it on the side of their house. Because they fucking deserved it. You know, don't worry. It's on the side of the house. It's shit. It biodegrades. Rain will wash it away. It's not like I fucking did it inside the house. You know, whatever. You know, relax. But, um, I'm actually, you know, some, some happy ending to the story here. I'm liking where I'm at. I'm by myself where I'm at. The person who owns this place moved me in. And is letting me stay here. And they actually aren't here. Um, ever. And they check on me maybe like every two weeks. So yeah. This place is, is fucking dope. I got it all to myself. And uh, that's good for me. That's good for my mental health. It means I can be loud again. I can I can play music again. And not deal with that bullshit. And you know. And it's not like I, I, I didn't either. Like I did it first. The first like three, four days I was there. And she asked me. To turn it down. And I turned it down. And I kept it down. Except for that one little slip. And then she just lost her mind. You know? So people have no chill. And that's basically the whole moral of the story is. Fuck humanity. Fuck most people. My, my close circle. My good friends. You know who you are. The rest of you. Fucking dramatic. Analyzing. Judging people can go fuck yourselves for all I'm concerned. Um, so yeah, and there's going to be more though. Now, honestly, my fans, my YouTube watchers, I love you guys. Okay. These story times are just for me to spread the love and the excitement and the impulsivity of doing fun and, you know, out of the box things like this. So that's the whole point of it. And I am a crazy fuck, but I use my craziness to do fun, crazy, wild, memorable things. You know, I will go down in history and I know I will, you know, 
And um, actually some things that I had said in that video also played in um, to what I said and what I'm going to say now. You know, I basically took the good things out of what I had said in the part that I cut out. And um, what I want to say is I want to be a rock star. You know, I want to be a badass and a cool guy. But I'm also not going to be doing a lot of this dumb shit, yo. I am not going to be breaking many laws. And, and if I do, it will not be known. And it's not no one's going to have any suspicion. I'm very, very sly and very good at hiding my, my acts. Um, I would rather be a rock star and stay on the streets and fucking out of jail, you know, than, yeah, fucking jail. So, yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, and there's going to be uh, another abandoned building story, and this one's pretty crazy because my friends actually got busted the day because we had gone there three times, and I actually got sick the third day and decided to opt out because at the time I, I don't have I, – I actually don't have a car now. That's another thing. That's going to be a, the story after that is that I fucking um, – crashed my car but um no uh because i had been walking to the, the place the, the other two times the third time i didn't feel good and so all my friends went and what's crazy is is they 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 did it wrong that time they fucked up and they all got busted yo so that's the next story and then the story after that is me crashing my car thanks for watching